going on everybody it's profane hurricane back here with what remains of edith finch i know nothing about this game uh i know that it is not a long game but it is a mystery to me what exactly it is and i would like to open that book there we go a lot of this isn't going to make sense to you, and I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning, with the house. So, from what I understand, this is just kind of a very immersive type of game. I, it doesn't have any... I was here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the room. It has a lot of talking. Not a lot of, uh, there's no combat or anything, so. Hello? Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago. Mark urgent. Open immediately. Well, probably, probably should have checked those. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Hey, that's cool. The letters go all scattery. <clears throat> you know, Will, my mother left me a key that didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. The Finches. So, what's this way? Because that way is the house, right? So what's this way? I can zoom. Can't run. Well, that's uh. No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. I guess it doesn't matter which way you go, you will end up where you need to go. Hi, dear. Hi, dear. The truth is. Even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Oh, the house. The hell? What the fuck? Holy God. The house was exactly like I remembered it. The way I'd been dreaming about it. The house is ridiculous. What the hell is that? Feet. I cannot pick that up. Can I zoom in on it though? Missing Milton Finch. Milton. Milton. Oh, can't do anything over there. Guess we better just go into the house. This is crazy child, looking. The house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. I could see why. Also, you're never gonna find this kid if you're just putting the the flyers on your own property, like just laying them on the ground. Now, as a seventeen year old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. All right. I hope the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Damn it. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. All right, so is there a back door? Some of that back door action. A garage. A car hole. Hello. Hello. No? Really? The house felt like it had always been here. Even the swing set was older than my mother. Alright. 
Oh, there's a back door right there. Duh. In we go. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. It seemed pretty easy. The power had been turned off the night we left. But why did you leave? Is the house hainted? Got a lot of, a lot of junksies. All right. For the first time in years, I felt like I was home. God, what a fucking dump this place is. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Edith, Edie, Dawn, and Lewis. In loving memory, Lewis Finch, December 27th, 1988 to November 21st, 2010. Beloved brother to Edith, son of Dawn. Great grandson to Edie. Memorial Service Family Cemetery. Finch Family Cemetery, 2141 Fireweed Road. Mm hmm. A lot of tragedy. Like only one restaurant would deliver to our house, so we had Chinese a lot. Cosmic cuisine. What am I stepping on? Oh. Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon, except our cat, Molly. Where's the kitty? Kitty. Where are you? I would like to pet you. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Woman, I don't have time for you. Well, there's a cat My somewhere in this the house. My mom who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Kitty. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. After it sank? What the hell? Your house sank? That's never good. Alright, so there's nothing here. What do we got? What's this? Barbara. Great-grandpa Sven built music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Well, that's delightful. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. This key better go to the cat's heart. I'm gonna unlock its heart, and it will be my friend forever. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. What the fuck? That is a crazy ass doorway, my god. Alright, up the stairs we go. After Milton disappeared, mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Peepholes? <gasps> Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. My friend Bigfoot. Barbara. Oh, there's Barbara one downstairs. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. Oh, it's a fucking Bigfoot thing back there. I want to go in there. Edie's father Odin built the original house. Odin? I want to go down to the other the other doorway. I wish I could run. I mean, it makes sense that I wouldn't run. Like, it's very somber. But I, I would like to run. What is this? Edie told me once that oh, every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Well, 
Every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. This whole fucking house looks like a library. It's just books everywhere. It's back here. The hell? I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. This I think room my mom sometimes regretted not seeing awesome. it up. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. 20,000 leaves under the sea. Oh, that's what the key opens. A book. Turns out my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Hello, love. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Probably bears. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Oh, Reading this, kitty. maybe it sounds like I had a plan. Where are you at? Where are you at, kitty? But I had no idea what was behind that door. What the hell? Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. This is weird. Molly Finch. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Uh, obviously we're gonna eat this hamster, right? The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Yeah. Eat those raisins, too. You know? Get, get, get that protein. Eat the fish. Eat the fish. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Yeah, don't eat Christopher. Look how cute he is. Oh, he loves you. You should never eat your fish. Get a starfish, though. Starfish is probably fine. What am I caught on a oh, rocket course? Eat that toilet water, man. Toothpaste. I kept eating and eating. That is poison. Do not eat that. I ate a lot of things that night. Yeah, you're gonna die from eating fucking, like, holly berries and shit. Yep. Eat that bird. Then I heard chirping outside my window. Hey, bird. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly... What the fuck? I was a cat. Oh, you're hallucinating. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, bird. Where you at? is up there. Yeah, there's a nest. The babies were all gone. Damn it. It's gonna eat your babies. <laughs> Fucking knowing bird. Tormenting me.
I could tell she was getting really tired. Oh shit. And now I was up in the big tree. I promised Sad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bug. Yeah. I think maybe you're hallucinating, little girl. I don't think you're actually a cat. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. What the fuck? All I heard was the wind. Oh. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. What? The hell? Her little teeth nibbling in the grass like a like a rat? Rabbits. Rabbits. Get him. Oh hell yeah. Imagine space looking up and seeing oh God. through my talons. Oh god. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. A deer or a sheep. A mama rabbit. She over there. Go get her. Hell yeah. She was almost too big to carry. Almost. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. What? And suddenly, I was a shark. <laughs> that you should not be a shark in a tree. This game is fucking insane. Oh, we can do this. Okay. It wasn't letting me move. It's man eater. Yeah. Let's go. Land shark. off the cliff and into the ocean. Nice. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Well, you should eat something. I wanted fat, juicy seals. Yeah, get that seal. I tore off her flipper and it tasted oh, really good. Well, grabbed on tight. Yeah. I was so hungry, jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. I hear a snake. Oh, your octopus. Now I was a monster, and I smelled people like me. Go on. I was big. Oh, yeah. Real quiet. Oh, yeah. We're doing this. Up here. I wanted to stop, but also I didn't. Oh yeah, your drunk ass is getting taken. What are you eating him with? Insatiable. Something I had to have, so I swam towards it. Cheeseburger. I 
grass slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. All of my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. That was interesting. Well done, Molly Finch. You're a weird little, little I'm not thing. sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. All right. Is there anything else in this room? Oh, that's where I came from. I grew up looking at Molly's room for the people. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. What the fuck? Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Weird. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. Oh, she has, she has little snoots. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, Ugh. when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Mm, a lot of bird cages. Not gonna lie, not a fan of that. Built 1937, Sven Finch. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Well. That's a heck of a way to go. What does it say? Tragedy strikes Finch family. Something celebration turns to mourning. Even in her 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Oh, God. That carpet is ridiculous. <coughs> Excuse me. The room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. Uh -huh. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. That's how the house sank, okay. But 40 foot waves off the coast of Washington Send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. What the fuck? Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. But why, though? 
The Mysteries of Death and Thereafter, Odin Finch. Odin Finch, joining the great majority. So he wrote books about their their family's deaths. I can't look out that way. About their family curse. Got some pals. There's a shark. Norwegian folk tales. Alright. Let's go into your bathroom. That's fun. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. It was a pretty big trace. Yeah, that's huge. It looks like the ocean threw up coral in your bathroom. It's not great. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Trapped. Does it say shrine sketches? Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Then she died in a fire. <laughs> then she was just another crazy old lady that died in a fire. Alright, so I'm... There we go. Here we go, here we go. There's a secret in this bathroom by Sven and Edie Finch. There's a secret in this bathroom. Hello? It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. What the hell? Dude, this house is nuts. I love it. Calvin Finch. Born April 25th, 1950. Eight died September twenty third, nineteen. No, fifty three. I don't fucking know. It looked like fifty eight and fifty one, but Sven gave uh, Sam an old can't camera die before you were born. He never put it down. Swing set. space fucking bad Ronald living in your walls Fort Calvin Fort Sam I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin, and that he never talked about him. This room is badass. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. 1950 to 1961. How I want to remember my brother by Sam Finn. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. We're swinging. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. Did he jump off the swing? Home, we swore. 
he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. That's swinging very good. Not getting that verticality we want. control both legs. Oh. I see. I control both legs. I think Calvin That's why. Wanted to fly. Fuck yeah. Let's go in the ocean. Calvin, get up, Coming. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. Fuck yeah. Let's do it. I told him going around was impossible. Oh, it's possible. Possible as shit. We're doing Maybe it. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Oh my god. Holy shit. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Oh my god. Then maybe we... still be here. But I doubt. Snap. I think he'd already made up his mind. I'm kicking the tree. Oh, That's what I want to remember about awesome. my brother. I always wanted to do that when I was a kid. Get on the fucking oh shit. Be the kid that swung over the bar and become inside out boy. Oh, oh this is the he made up his mind to And he did. <laughs> nice. Nice. Ah, that was awesome. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Alright, well, I think that's going to do it for this one, and then we'll, uh, we'll continue on uh, our journey, finding out how the Finch family passed away, but I'm loving this. This is very charming and uh, very well, well made. Whimsical is a word that I would use to describe it, but it's very fun, um, very chill. I like it a lot. So, yeah, we're going to continue on, and we'll uh, see what happens next time. So thanks so much for joining me, everybody. Uh, stay safe, take care, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.